Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and I have to figure out what page we're on, because I forgot. We're on page six, we're on page six. Okay, page six, build five. And the numbers are off because I did four and five as one. So build four covered two pages. And here we go, here's my glue. So um, this strip, is from the 8x8 collection pack and it is three inches wide and then this was trimmed to fit. I was just dry fitting it. And this is also from the 8x8 collection pack. Okay, so we've got our base down. We're gonna have two flaps. We have one flap that is eight, eight by five. Eight by five, you're gonna score a half inch, I mean, I'm sorry, one inch on the eight inch side. And it's gonna get installed like so. And this is going to layer on top of it. And this is six by five, six by five. And I notice I don't have tape on it. I'm gonna do that real quick. Oh, here, I already had one started. <clears throat> Hope everybody's doing well this morning. Okay, so I did a, a five eighths and I'll do a quarter inch and that'll cover it. It's hard to see, I know. <clears throat> okay. Let's get my Tim Holtz ruler. I'm going to come down a half inch. So I'm coming in from the edge an inch, and actually, am, am I doing this backwards? I am. I, this should have been out here. Oh well, that's okay. I'm going to build it this way. So I'm coming in uh, from the edge an inch, and down from the top a half inch. <clears throat> Same thing here, I'm going to come in an inch and up a half inch. Did I hit play? Yep. Every now and then I'm doing, I'm working and I have a panic attack that I didn't hit the record button. I said play, but I meant record. Okay. There we go. 
And now we're going to add a magnet. all the hair everywhere. <laughs> okay, there we go. I should have turned the tape the other way, but that's okay. It looks like it's about what I need for the border, and if not, I'll just use my um, X-Acto knife and trim off a little bit of tape. Okay, uh, I need to line up my designer papers and eight, and I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, I've got some of my designer papers uh, selected, so we're going to start laying in um, these papers. This is from the 8x8 collection. This is from Patterns and Solids. Okay, I'm going to need to take a little bit of this tape off. Right on the edge, so I'm just going to use my X-Acto knife and cut a sliver off. I'm not pushing too hard because I don't want to go through the cardstock. And if you're careful and you roll it off, you don't have to worry about tearing your cardstock. So I'm just trying to be careful here. There we go. All right. <clears throat> now I don't have to worry about it peeking out from under the, card, the designer paper. Okay, and then I selected this postcard that's going to go right here, so I'm going to cardstock back it. Okay, and I'm just going to center it right here. And then when you close this, you're just going to see a little bit of the postcard and your journaling space will be covered up. <laughs> there we go. Doesn't that look pretty? Okay, I need to line up my B-sides, get them inked, and then I'll be right back and we'll do the B-sides. Okay, I've got the B-sides lined up. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, this is from the 12 by 12 collection pack. <clears throat> much glue. Thank you. 
Okay, there we go. Page six. Be back soon with page seven.